Hey guys, welcome back to Black Gun. Today, I wanna to talk about a companion to the guns. You know, I do a lot of gun videos and never really realized that the side companion of our rifles or handguns is the knife. And I got a hold of a really interesting little knife from Kershaw and comes in this little red box, not too much of a, you know, big packaging or unopening. And I did use this knife and play around with it for a little while before I decided to do the, the video, but it is the Kershaw Launch 13. And Kershaw has a ser uh, the Launch series uh, to be exact. And there are a lot of automatic knives, and as you know, automatic knives have become pretty popular these days. Uh, the stigma of the old switchblade and and uh, everything that goes along with that is slowly disappearing. Um, we don't even use the term switchblade anymore. We're now at automatic knife. And a lot of states, including mine, Pennsylvania, has actually decriminalized uh, the possession and carrying of these. Uh, which is also an interesting aspect and probably, um, you know, a good reason as to why they're becoming so prolific. Uh, you know, to be honest with you, I don't think it's exactly them passing the law that made them prolific. What I do think is I think that it was more the tail wagging the dog, whereas so many people were buying these and using them that it just made common sense for them to adjust the law. Uh, you know, uh, for the times, basically. So, it is a uh, side folder, naturally, so it looks just basically like a pocket knife. Um, it's not an out the front. Uh, it has one button, which is kind of recessed. You can see it right here. Uh, and it's recessed a little bit, so you won't accidentally open the knife. Now, what it does not have is a little safety lever that some of them have, um, probably because you really got to dig in there to get the, uh, to get the button. So let's give it a try. Nice, uh, nice strong spring. Uh, it's definitely one of those springs that will last you quite a few years, um, before you have to replace it unless you, uh, open it and close it a thousand times a day out of pure childish fascination like I do. But um, pretty easy to use, uh, pretty safe to carry, uh, has a nice little belt clip. And they are made in America. So it'll have a little American flag there to show you that uh, this particular Kershaw is made in America. Remember, just because it says Kershaw doesn't mean that it's made in the States. Uh, you know, if it's a cheaper Kershaw, odds are it's made in some Oriental country, out East, China, Taiwan, um, or the likes. Uh, but you have to look for the little American flag. Uh, as far as a price point is concerned, I've seen these as low as $140. Uh, I've seen it as high as $244. Again, if you're looking for the American flag, you're gonna pay a little a little more for it. Uh, they have, like I said, Kershaw has two different lines. Uh, if it's cheaper, uh, I don't think that you're gonna lack on Kershaw quality, but it's definitely uh, not supporting an American worker. So ultimately, I think that uh, you're better off just uh, spending the extra money to support our own country. Uh, the knife is, uh, the knife blade is very unique. As you can see, it's not like your standard drop point. It more has a flat edge, and then uh, the top of the point here is, is, is dropping down, so it gives you a kind of like a razor blade look to it, uh, you know, where, uh, you know what I mean, like where, you know, it's going to be used, uh, you know, for utility or cutting or a whole bunch of, uh, you know, other things. Uh, one thing I would like to mention that the style of this blade really makes for a very, very fine point, which if you probably got in there and started digging with the point, 
uh, odds are that there's probably a really good chance uh, that you're going to uh, that you're going to snap that point off. So, you know, I probably wouldn't use it for um, you know utility work, should I say? I think uh, this is a, a good companion pocket knife with a really interesting blade. Um, it is. Uh, let me see the type of steel. Uh, 7650, uh, which makes for a pretty rigid um, blade. Um, you know, a little bit of flexibility there, a little bit of strength. Uh, as far as uh, sharpening is concerned, uh, you know, I, I really haven't been there uh, with this knife, um, and it's really not my forte. I'm sure that there's a whole bunch of other people out there that could give you a little more, um, a little more valuable expertise in that field than. Uh, than I could. But I thought I would do a quick little video on this knife. Bam. <laughs> Can't believe they're legal in Pennsylvania, which is pretty cool. Um, I do carry this on the job or have just started to carry it on the job. Uh, and I'll tell you what, I most certainly am going to buy uh, more Kershaws and more uh, in the launch series of automatic knives. I'm going to make a lot more purchases, uh, you know, down that venue. So thanks for checking in guys and give you another quick look at it. Uh, but before I leave, I forgot one thing. Uh, the frame is aluminum or an aluminum alloy and, uh, it is, uh, or appears to be pretty sturdy. Uh, and before I go, I guess I should go over this since I've never done knives before. Uh, you know, you have a bolt, a fastener here, and you have two fasteners here, uh, and then two fasteners inside for the, uh, for the pocket clip. But I would venture to say that you can disassemble this knife to replace the spring. So everything seems to be replaceable as well if you use the hell out of it and, uh, and I do know that, uh, or do believe that uh, Kershaw has replacement parts and springs for it. So um, it's real, real good as far as ease of maintenance as well. I just wanted to throw that in before, uh, before I go. So thanks for checking in guys. And uh, I'll see you at the gun range and you knife guys that I'm reaching out to. Um, I don't know where I'll see you at. Where do we use these things for? Uh, I know I'm gonna use it for the job. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.